Hi, I'm Mark Kessela, Engineering Product Team Manager for Articat, and we're here today to talk about the all-new 2012 Wildcat. Yep. All right, let's talk about the new five-link rear suspension on the Wildcat. This is all new to the industry, new is something you'll see on some of the desert cars type thing, but this is new for the ROV market that this is in. Why is it a five link suspension? We'll start off with that, that's real simple. There's five links. You count them, there's two trailing arms and what we call three lateral links. And why would we do a five link suspension? Well, there's a reason we did it. It helps to control our camber gain as the vehicle goes through the range of travel and motion. There's 18 inches of wheel travel back here, remember. And if a traditional A-arm suspension, as it sweeps through, the, the tire changes, follows an arc. And what this link system does is keeps that arc a lot less steep so it doesn't change and you get a radical camber change. The other reason we did that is when you have five links, you're distributing the loads. You gotta understand as you're riding down the trail, you're hitting ruts or whatever, there's loads getting inputted to the wheels. And if you have five links, it's just spreading the load to five different points, makes the vehicle stronger. When we also look at this rear suspension, so we talked about 18 inches of wheel travel. We coupled it with a Walker Evans adjustable shock. Now this thing has a ton of adjustability. So it get, you can play around and customize the ride to what you're looking for or what you're seeing out there. So we'll start with the shock itself. Up here on top on the reservoir, you'll see there's an adjustment up here. That's your compression adjust. That adjusts the compression dampening as you're going through. So maybe you want a softer setting, maybe you want a stiffer setting, depending on what you're riding. Maybe you have cargo back here, but you can tune that in. Not only do you have that adjustability in the shock, but you also have two preload adjusts. Now this is the primary preload adjust up here. You can adjust that and that'll adjust the ride height. Maybe you want more or less ground clearance. Maybe you have, again, more of a load. So you'll crank some preload into it. But there also is a transition preload adjust in the rear suspension. And what that does is you'll see there's two springs right here and they work together. And what happens as, as the spring gets compressed, you'll hit this transitional adjustment and then it goes to working off of just one spring. So it changes the spring rate, it gets heavier. So you can adjust that when that happens, maybe you're coming down and going through a big, a big whoop or what have you, a big hole, and you want that heavier spring rate to hit sooner. That's what that will do. The other thing we wanna point out with this rear suspension, typical of the Articat vehicles, all these suspension bushings, maintenance free. There's a lot of motion here. We have spherical joints. We have a U-joint up here utilizing materials inside so they're maintenance free, no grease irks. Just simply get in and ride the vehicle. And then also you gotta remember part of the suspension too is we got new rear tires and a new rear wheel coupled with that. 